Welcome back to We Are Reading Virtual Story Time for the week of April 26, 2021. This week's theme is baseball. We'll be reading Little Teammate and making our own cotton candy out of cotton balls. Little Teammate by Alan Williams, illustrated by Stephen Marchese. Little Teammate steps up to the plate. Just one hit will win this game. Pitcher nods his head. Little Teammate remembers what Daddy always says. Be ready, do your best, and have some fun. Cheers get louder. Pitcher looks taller. Two strikes already and a runner on third. Here comes the ball. Crack! The bat sounds. Surprise all over little teammate's face. The ball flies over second base. Chin held high. Chug, chug, chug. Little teammate begins to run. From the dugout, friends begin to yell. We won, we won. After the game, a big hug from daddy. I love you, little teammate. I'm proud of you. It makes me so happy to watch you play. One week later, hoping for more of the same, little teammate shows up for the next game. Here we go again. Little teammate steps to the plate. Just one hit will win this game. Pitcher nods his head. Little teammate remembers what daddy always says. Be ready, do your best, and have some fun. Cheers get louder. Pitcher looks taller. Two strikes already and a runner on third. Here comes the ball. Whiff! The bat makes no sound. Strike three. You're out. Chin down low. Little teammate looks sad. After the game, a big hug from daddy. I love you, little teammate. I'm proud of you. It makes me so happy to watch you play. But daddy, you said this before when my hit knocked in the winning score. Remember what you saw? Today I missed that ball. Yes, little teammate. But one thing you must know. I love you when you hit the ball. I love you when you miss the ball. I love you just because. Because you are my little teammate. And nothing can ever change that. Daddy, I feel so much better. For the next game, I cannot wait. What should I do when I step to the plate? That's easy. Just do the same thing my daddy told me when I was a little teammate. Be ready, do your best, and have some fun. And always know that I'm your biggest fan. The end. Okay, well, what is more tasty at a baseball game than cotton candy? Um, so this week we're going to make our own little cotton candy cotton candy template. This is where all the cotton will go. Of course you need cotton balls. You need paint. I chose purple, blue, and pink. Um, and because oftentimes you have a pastel or lighter color for um, cotton candy, I added some white to it just to um, lighten it up. And then of course you're not going to need glue to glue the cotton balls on and paint brushes to um, paint the cotton balls. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of pull apart some of these cotton balls. We want them to be nice and fluffy because cotton is so fluffy. They don't have to even stay together. Um, it's easier if you kind of spread them out some. Now you can just glue them all right onto the paper. It doesn't really matter. Um, it'll just look a little bit different. It'll look more like a cloud or something than it will cotton. But um, so we're gonna do that. 
that. And I'm gonna get a nice amount of glue. This is just regular glue, um, white glue. So like school glue. I'm just gonna kinda get some glue in there. And of course, I'm probably using way too much as I always do, but that's okay. close to the border so that you get a nice form to them but if you can't it's okay um, just do what you're gonna do see how like instead of just a ball these are fluffier um, so if you have a craft to go kit you should have plenty to do it even if you're not pulling them apart I kind of measure them out um, otherwise just get your own cotton balls and do it how you need to I'm just going to go ahead and work on this and we'll be right back. Okay, and just like real cotton candy, of course, I've got it stuck to my fingers because of the glue. But that's okay. Um, you can always use a baby wipe or wash your hands. Um, I'm just going to continue since I'm right here and I'm probably going to get paint on me anyway. Um, now what we're going to do is we're just going to dab... it dry a bit first. Um, it'll be easier that way. I just wanted to show you we're just going to dab it on and um, I don't know if you remember in the fall we made the fall leaf pictures and we did it similarly. Now I'm making mine three colors just because I like my cotton candy to be mixed together. Um, some people just want one color of cotton candy together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this and then I will come back. Well, I don't know about you, but that certainly looks delicious to me. So that is our cotton candy. Mm -hmm. 